A Better World. In A Better World is the uh, the Danish film from director Susanna Beer, also written by Tom, uh, Thomas Anders Jensen, her usual screenwriter, who is also an amazing screenwriter for a host of other movies. Look up his credits on IMDb, you'll be blown away. Uh, the last film that they were Oscar nominated for was, uh, was called After the Wedding. It was incredible, one of my favorite films of that year. And uh, even though I don't think this is quite as good, this went on and won the Oscar this last year, and we're very happy for Susanna Beer because she is one of those European directors who has had something of a spotty experience in Hollywood. She uh, came here after, after the wedding and made Things We Lost in the Fire with Halle Berry and Benicio and uh, uh, the Del Toro. Dud. Yeah, the Del Toro. Dud. Dud. B no, B Benicio. It was Benicio. Benicio Dud. Del Toro. Not, not a good movie, Wade. And uh, not a good movie. Wasn't a good movie. It, it misplaced all of her talents. Uh, this is back in form and for both Susanna Beer and for uh, uh, Andrews Thomas Jensen. The story here centers on two kids who uh, become kind of um, unlikely friends in school. One is the new kid, and he's a little bit scarred from the, the death of his mother. He's, um, he carries a knife with him, and he won't take any crap from anybody. The other kid is one who gets picked on, and it's these, these circumstances that lead them together and lead them into actually some relatively dangerous situations. Meanwhile, you're also focusing on the parents and the situations that the, pa the parents are involved in. The picked on kid, his parents are separated, and uh, his dad is a doctor who often goes to Africa and does, uh, you know, doctors without borders work, performing surgery on people in war zones. And all of this comes together in an amazing, amazing tapestry of love and peace and how people interact with each other and all of these incredible emotions flow all over this movie and uh, it is just it's a tremendous film it ends on a little bit of a melodramatic note but let's take a look Hi, Father. Hey. Oh, hey, Why do I got to see there again? No, I don't got to see there. I'm so glad. Morten har lavet gave til dig, hvis du var sult. Klip det. And that's a great scene if you've actually seen the movie. Otherwise, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it is uh, the the gift. <laughs> seriously, seriously, the the gift that that uh, that Susanna Beer and uh, and Jensen have is that they are able to capture these moments that feel, even if they're scripted, even if they're planned, the way they work with their actors, the, the way that they let all this evolve, even more so than someone like Mike Lee, they really are able to capture this sense of spontaneity, as though, as though you have just walked into the most intimate, uncomfortable moment from someone's life. And it has this feeling of being unplanned and yet at the same time incredibly dramatic and incredibly intense. Uh, there are moments here, just like in all of her other films, where you just don't see it coming, and it just blindsides you, and next thing you know, you're sitting in the, in, the, in the theater and you're weeping uncontrollably because it just, it captures all of the emotions that you associate with life. And I know that sounds really pretentious and kind of dorky, but that's what it does, and it, uh, it's just an amazing film. You know, I'm a little worried about Suzanne Beer because I feel like she does a great film in her home country, comes to the United States, does something that's not very good, goes back to her home country, does another it, great film. Yeah. What's she going to do? Is she going to come this back here and do some? This happens all the time. Happens all the time. You can go, go all the way back to people like Fritz Long, you know, uh, Fritz Long, and even Renoir did their best work in their home countries. Came to Hollywood, meh. I mean, Fritz Long did a bunch of noir type stuff. Yeah. Actually, his, his it's stuff, fine. His American stuff is good. It's good, well, but, not as good but, as M and all these right, other films. Right, but but the classic stuff. It's the it's the the German expressionist stuff. And Renoir stuff is the is the is the French stuff, and uh, you know it, it's Louis Malle. Louis Malle made a lot of great films in France. Okay, films here, not not really great. So I mean, it's it's a it's a common theme. Look, Paul Verhoeven made his best films. I mean, I love RoboCop and I love Starship Troopers, but he made his best films when he was when he was still sure. you know I mean, in Holland. Uh, uh, in Soldier of Orange, Soldier of Orange, and Amazing. Das Boot, and yeah, that kind of stuff. No, Das Boot is Wolfgang Peterson. Another, another, another one. Another one. Look, you know, has he ever made anything in English that's as good as Das Boot? No. no. Yeah, so. Story. You know what? That was a German film. English language, German made. Wow.
Yep. Oh, he kicked his ass. Yep. No, no, but it's, 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 I'm glad he brought it up. I'm glad he brought it up because that was, that was his calling card for Hollywood. You know, it was like, look, I can make an English language movie. Special effects. Hire me. Right, right. Anyway, so that's, uh, it, that's in a better world. In a better world. Susanna Beer, great film, won the Oscar, deserved to go see it. And that's a buy. It's a buy. That's a buy. You got it. We it's made a buy. Her. There's your buy.